Welcome back everyone, today we will be discussing the Jordan 1 Patina, also known as the Jordan 1 Light Army, also known as the Jordan 1 Rush Shadow. Specifically, we will be discussing whether you should sell or hold the Jordan 1 Patina and why that is. To preface this, if you guys enjoy these types of videos regarding the market, reselling, and even info on how to acquire these limited products, be sure to subscribe and enable post notifications just so you're always 100% updated. Furthermore, for more urgent updates like shock drops, such as the numerous dunk shock drops that we just saw recently, follow my twitter keith adam 10 and personals for you for those who don't know the jordan 1 patina releases on may 4th in the united states they already dropped outside of the u.s in late march retail will be 170 dollars for these be sure to watch my latest how to cop guide if you have not yet and you happen to be watching this before the drop of course which was actually made quite a while ago since they dropped a while back in other countries and were delayed for us but otherwise let's continue in order to determine if the Jordan 1 Patina will be a fruitful hold, we will cover an estimated range of what the sneaker will settle at after the drop and also when shipments come in, essentially the pairs going into circulation, whether they're expected to increase post-drop or even hypothetically decrease, along with how much specifically over specific periods of time. And finally, what type of margin are we looking at for these in terms of holding, not the retail to resell initial margin, but rather the hold margin over X period of time. Basically, are these going to be worth your time at the end of the day? Kicking it off, let's discuss discuss the estimated range that these should be settling at. To begin with, stock for all sizes combined worldwide is 85,000 pairs. This is definitely less than what we usually see when it comes to Jordan 1 highs. On the other hand, demand is unfortunately extremely low for this pair too, which of course derives from the color combination. This is reflected in the already very low pre-sale, lackluster bids, and below average sale volume for Jordan 1, not only a day out from the US drop, but also which already has thousands of pairs in circulation from the Europe release, yet the sale volume is still below par. Due to the very low demand, I'm still expecting these to remain profitable with a very poor margin, primarily for people who have no tax in their state. If you do have tax on the other hand, you might still be able to make a few dollars off these with a very poor margin, definitely nothing notable though, not the ideal cop, but regardless, some money can still be made mainly for those who don't have tax in their state. Now regarding a specific range, prices have already seen the vast majority of their decrease following the Europe pairs going into circulation. Over the past week, they've essentially just hit a plateau. Hence, I still expect them to remain at these prices tomorrow morning before the drop. This leaves the current and pre-drop average prices from sizes 7 to 12 at about $225. We normally see a notable change post-US drop, which is when we normally experience what I like to refer to as the impulsivity effect. You guys should know what I'm referring to by now. We discuss this very frequently when it comes to these videos. Regarding the impulsivity effect, if you haven't watched my seller hold videos before, for sneaker drops specifically impact human impulsiveness significantly after an individual fails to acquire that desired product due to insufficient supply and too much demand. Therefore, on average, we normally see about a 10% increase of the pre-drop prices post-drop. This isn't always the case, but majority of the time it is. One example where we didn't see this much of a change was on the Jordan 5 Raging Bull Drop, which I did call in my seller hold video that it would stay in that same 350 range post drop and would later fall to the 275 range or even lower once shipments did go out, which is exactly what we're seeing now. Another more recent example was for the Jordan 4 University Blue, which I predicted rather than 10%, we would only see about a 5% increase, which again was exactly what we saw occurred after after the drop took place. Following that, they also dropped to the predicted 341 average. Now the pairs are going in circulation. Now regarding these patinas, just like those, I'm also not expecting a 10% post-drop increase, unfortunately. At best, I give them room for a 5% increase, and I'm even slightly skeptical of that. Although these are more limited than prior Jordan 1 highs, the demand, unfortunately, is very low on these. This would leave us with a post-drop average at just about $235, which evidently is very low when it comes to a Jordan 1, but nothing surprising considering the very low demand these have. Keep this number in mind because we'll be revisiting this number when discussing the most optimal times to sell at. Keep in mind these will just be the post drop prices for a finite period of time. Now let's discuss what prices will look like once shipments go out in the 1-2 to two week range. During this period, the vast majority of pairs will be going into circulation. Aside from the amount of pairs that already went out through exclusive access, the in-store pairs, and of course, the large amount of pairs that are already in circulation from outside of the United States. When it comes to these decent sized releases, the effects are quite noticeable, often up into the 15% range. In this case specifically though, since prices are all 
already so low and I'm not even expecting the full 10% post drop increase I'd side towards the lower end of these as the US pairs are going to circulation keep in mind that a ton are already out there in circulation from releases outside of the US therefore I would expect a 10% decrease from the post drop prices rather than a 15% decrease this would leave prices at about 210 to 215 dollars on average meaning some would be lower than that some would be higher thus deriving the average so now you can see why I say money can be made on these technically but with a poor margin if you have tax it's even worse for you at best you might make a couple of dollars with a very poor margin regardless some money could still be made technically especially if you do sell locally with no fees you'll definitely be able to make at least some money there now with the average price ranges at those points in time evident let's discuss whether they're expected to increase post drop or even hypothetically decrease along with how much specifically over specific periods of time we have a very unique situation when it comes to the Jordan 1 patinas for two reasons for one these have very low demand leaving prices already very low so the positive deriving from this is the price already is super low which is important to consider when it comes to the ROI furthermore they're also quite limited but still not super limited in general overall despite them being limited the lack of demand these do have really makes it difficult for me to say that these will increase a good amount I see these being very similar to what we saw on the silver Jordan 1 Co JP the only positive is that prices are super low right now but don't let the smoke screen distract you from the fact that a good hold still actually has to increase by a good amount. For the most part, I'm expecting these to perform in a similar manner to those Jordan 1 Co JPs in the silver colorway. So no noticeable increases for at least 6 to 8 months. At the end of the day though, they are a Jordan 1 high, so they should eventually go up. But with demand this low, I really feel it'll take a long time before we see this take effect. So now finally, regarding the hold margin on these essentially are these actually worth your time the positive for these is that they're very low right now if they were hypothetically to increase this would likely lead to a pretty solid ROI considering the price is so bad right now however the barrier for these is the very low demand of course for this colorway which makes it questionable if they will even have a notable increase at all over the next year I'm not expecting them to however since they are so low right now it won't take much of an increase to generate at least an average ROI for these which I can see in about a year or so overall I rated this a four and a half out of ten so just below average if these were going for more than the current prices perhaps like 260 to 280 at that point I would have rated these a one or two out of ten since these are super low though right now only a minor increase is required to allow for an average ROI Therefore, I put this just slightly below average, so not completely terrible. Overall, I'll still be quick selling all of my pairs and taking my lunch money and running. I do feel that there are better opportunities out there than these, unfortunately. Also, just a note in general, for anyone considering holding any items who have low capital, you should never hold anything in general. If you don't have sufficient capital, go for as many drops as possible at your full potential without holding back. If you need money to go for all drops, try to sell these as soon as possible during that impulsivity effect like we were just discussing anyway let me know what you guys are doing with your pairs in the comments below since at the end of the day this is a discussion we're just sharing our notions anyway good luck on this drop or congrats if you already copped feel free to leave a like if you enjoyed or you perhaps learned a thing or two subscribe and enable post notifications just to stay 100% updated on all hype sneakers remember if you need proxies or Nike sneakers accounts be sure to check the links in the description below for TARS and KIP proxies and of course follow my Twitter Keith Adam 10 and personal for you so you always stay 100% updated on everything. With that though, I'll see you guys later. Enjoy the rest of your day.